Hey guys, today on Azure Tech we're going to be making a free blog and forum with Nabble that we can embed onto our website. Uh, you know, the Nabble interface, when you're done with it, it it's kind of simple, but it works and it has a lot of cool features. So this should work for pretty much everyone since it is embeddable. And it's actually very simple to do this. You don't need any knowledge of code or anything like that. I'll walk you through it the entire way. And I'm probably going to be making uh, three videos uh, just to split this up because the process is kind of long but uh, in the end doing this entire thing should only take you 30 minutes so there are probably going to be three videos in this first one I'm making it setting it up uh, second one I'll probably be embedding it onto the website changing the theme stuff like that and in the third video I'll be doing some of the code now you don't need to know any code I'm walking you through it it's very simple changes to the Nabble code that uh, give you a couple tweaks that are uh, very cool so get started go to nabble.com links in the description click start a free forum fill in the information and then push create forum when you've done that it will redirect you to uh, the form you've just created and there's uh, nothing special right now you can see you have like a search bar here your options a couple other things it looks fairly basic but before you can actually edit anything you have to go to your email and verify the account you created and once you've verified it go back and log in. Now once you've logged in you can start editing some of the settings. Go to options, uh, go to application and change application type. You're going to want to make sure this is category. Um, before we go on uh, I'm just going to show you what this looks like when you're done with it. So I have a couple screenshots I prepared but uh, forgot at the beginning but I remembered now so it's all good. Uh, you can see here I have it on my website and this is an embedded forum here looks pretty good basic but it looks good and it works just just great it has like all the administrative features you'd want stuff like that so here's the blog again on my website and you can see that uh, here's one of the topics I'm using the um, the news version of the blog I'll explain that in a little bit but Basically, whenever you create a new blog, it creates a thumbnail, and you can click on it, and it opens up into the blog. And you can add comments and stuff. You can create subcategories of blogs. You can put archives. You can subscribe via email, which is nice. You can see the users, stuff like that. And then again, there's that search bar that it actually uh, it can search both the blog and the forum if you want. So I hope that uh, was a little bit uh, of a help here, seeing these screenshots. Hopefully, it gives you an idea of what we're going for. All right, so now that we've changed the cata i mean the um the application type for this to category what we're going to want to do is go to options structure create new subform call this forum add a description should you like all right, so now you can see it goes control and then to form now we're in form you're going to want to change this to uh category as well so go to application change application type click category and now you can go ahead and add some subcategories that uh, people can go into create new subform alright now we're gonna call this general chat add a description if you'd like so you can see we have general chat it is the uh, right um, the right category uh, the right oh, what's it called the right type already you can see you can add a topic uh, I'm just gonna call this test Blah, 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 blah. post a message and you can see that it now creates threads you get some like buttons up there stuff like that so go ahead and go back to forum now you see we have a subcategory here that we can go into and make posts uh, what you're going to want to do at this stage is maybe pause the video and create all the subcategories you'd like for your forum you know set up the descriptions all that stuff so when you're done with that go ahead and resume the video and come back here to control that's what I've uh, named it but for you you probably named it something else so you can see here we have a forum uh, go to application uh, structure create new sub forum uh, yeah just go to structure create new sub forum call this blog add a description should you like now you see it's not the right type so we're gonna go to app uh, options application change application type you can either change it to news if you want thumbnails or blog if you want the entire article to show up when you make one and I'll just uh, demonstrate that here we'll call it 
chest. Blah 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 blah. All right. And you can see here we've made a little blog. Oh, I spelled this wrong. A little blog post. You can add comments and stuff. There's like buttons again. And so let's go back to blog. And when you make another another article, it stacks just like a normal blog would. And you can create sub. Uh, categories on your blog by going to options structure create new subcategory and recalling we're recalling we're this 2013 and now you can create blogs within subcategories all that but they all do appear on the blog page when you make them it's just uh, you know a way of separating things up and uh, when other people see this there's gonna be like a subscribe via email button somewhere alright so now that we've get got the the basic of the blog setup you might want to pause the video again and set up all the subcategories stuff like that but once you've done that go back to control now you can see we have the blog and we have the forum both of which have some of uh, the subcategories also uh, bleh, already set up and now what we're gonna want to do is take a look at some of the settings for Nabble so go to options go to uh, let's see here Let's go to application extras and add-ons. Now, by default, these are unchecked. You're going to want to check these. These allow people to use the social buttons and like uh, posts and stuff. You can go through these. You know, check the ones you uh, you think you'd want. They're all fairly basic options that you can go ahead and take a look at. And once you've got these settings, uh, you know, properly set up go ahead and click save changes now should you like to add analytics uh, to your forum you can go ahead and go to options application and google analytics and you can add the uh, the code thing and google analytics will then track your forum which is uh... which is a nice feature i find you can change the language and at any time you can always change the title uh... i mean the yeah the title up here and then you have title and meta tags should you want to do some seo um, to delete, uh, I forgot to mention this, to delete subcategories or other subcategories, all you have to go, uh, bleh, all you have to do is go to it, click options, and then click delete, and then it'll be gone, and you can go ahead and do whatever. So, uh, if you want to delete stuff, that's how you do it, and, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just going to run down some of the features that Nabble has before we end. Uh, of course, we have, you know, login accounts. Um, you have the search bar here, you know, which is nice. You can create subcategories on subcategories on subcategories. So you have quite a good structure going with uh, Nabble. There are um, permissions per user, so you can have registered users. You can have anyone have certain privileges. You can have members have certain privileges, and then the administrator has all the privileges. And I'll uh, I'll show you that here. Um, I forgot to mention. Uh, you can go to users down here. You can obviously you can ban users. You can manage subscribed users, manage users and user groups. But what we're going to take a look at is change permissions. And in here you can see, you have anyone registered administrators and members. Members are sort of like the uh, promoted registered users. Just keep that in mind. So if you want to have like a MVP program sort of thing, you can go ahead and take a look at that. So just go through. Uh, the default settings are fairly good, I find. So I mean for the most part default settings work for me but if you want you can go and click this to modify it and then change any of these settings you would like and when you're done you can go ahead and push save changes so there's uh, definitely a hierarchy of uh, users kind of thing since you have members and then administrators and stuff like that and you know, of course you can ban people so you have administrative power uh, so yeah, that pretty much covers it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, quick note, if you've seen this and you're wondering what this means, all it means is in 30 days, Nabble puts their own ads on your uh, your blog and forum. I can remove these for free with uh, the code stuff that I was talking about for the third part of the video. So don't worry about it. When you're done, it will be gone. And if you take a look at the... Um, uh, if you saw on the screenshots, it didn't say this anymore because I had removed the ads. So... I uh, hope this was helpful to you guys. You know, please check out my channel, check out the playlist, thumbs up, all that jazz, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time.